hi everyone welcome back to another video in this video I'm gonna make chili parota it's a South Indian dish let's get started to the parota dough add all the ingredients and mix well add water gradually and knead a soft dough The dough should rest at least 4 to 5 hours. More you rest the dough, it will become more stretchy. During this Ramadan, I make this recipe for iftar and also for sahur. It's easy to make and super delicious. You can make 6 parotas from this dough. Once it's done kneading, keep it covered and rest. This is about 4 hours rested dough. You can see it has become very soft. Cut the dough into equal portions and roll it up. I cut them into 6 pieces. Add around quarter cup oil and apply it all over. Keep it covered again until we make the chicken curry. For the chicken curry, starting the process with in a heated pan, add whole spices, pandan leaves, curry leaves, cinnamon stick, and ginger garlic paste. Add two medium onions, one tomato. Add 2 green chilies heated. Add salt. Saute them well until the onion become translucent and tomato become mushy. Add the mentioned masalas and a handful of coriander leaves. Saute them well until the rose milk goes. Add the chicken and mix well. I have added 1 kilo chicken. In many recipes, they add boneless chicken, but for me, chicken with bone tastes better. So that I added chicken with bone. You may add boneless chicken if you want. When the chicken is well coated with masala, add 2 tablespoons of curd and mix well. Check salt and add if needed. Keep it covered and cook until the chicken become tender. Add the final touch a handful of coriander leaves. Moving on to the paratas, there are two methods you can make them. I'll show you both. First, spread the dough with your hands and flatten with the rolling pin. Gently spread it with your hands. When your dough is not rested enough, when you spread the dough, it will tear by this time. Spread it slowly until it becomes transparent. Don't apply any oil on the surface, otherwise it won't work.
when it's fully spreaded, cut strips like this and pull them all up together. Fold like this. And finally tuck the end inside. This is the first method. And moving on to the second method. Spread the dough like I mentioned earlier. Add a dash of oil all over and spread. Pull up holding a corner. And fold like this as a twirl. And now tuck the end inside and it's done. Now press the layer dough like this with your palm. Don't use a rolling pin otherwise it will flatten the dough and spoil the layers. To cook the parotta in a hot skillet add some oil. Keep the flame medium high. Cook both sides until the brown spots appear and it's done. If it is too dry, add a dash of oil. Finally, you should slap our otters like this to define those layers. And now the final part, you should use a banana leaf, heat up the leaf so that it won't tear when you fold. layer the paratha with chicken curry you may use onions tomatoes coriander leaves in between i use only the chicken curry that tastes better now fold the banana leaf and tie a knot i use the stem of the banana leaf for that And finally, in a heated pan, add some oil and heat our parcels, both sides, and serve hot. These parotas soaked all the flavors from the banana leaves and the super flavorful chicken curry. All the flavors infused inside the parotas and it's like heaven. It tastes delicious. Try at least once and let me know how it turned out. And that's the end of my video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. See you next time with an interesting video. Until then, take care. Bye bye.